Hey everyone, it's Marcello here from the Toyota World YouTube channel and I have the absolute best minivan ever built, the 2024 Toyota Sienna. This is the LE all-wheel drive model. We're going to review it just ahead in this video and tell you why it's quite possibly the best minivan in the world. Now, why is this quite possibly the best minivan ever built? Well, it's broken records. Um, and what I'm talking about is if you're in the market for a Sienna hybrid minivan, you might already know about the insane resale value of these minivans and overall lack of depreciation. So definitely uh, the wait time can get a little bit long on these Sienna hybrids, but I can assure you with the quality, reliability, the fact that it's a hybrid minivan, the fact that it's from such a reputable company like Toyota, uh, definitely it's worth the wait. Now this one here has a Canadian MSRP of $46,750 Canadian plus your freight PDI taxes and fees. And this is the LE all wheel drive. It's got a cloth interior, but it still gives you all the essentials that you would need for your family and for yourself while keeping the price aggressive. And Toyota gives you about seven different models to choose from on the Sienna's in 2024 lineup from the all wheel drive to the front wheel drive like this 2024 XSE Toyota Sienna Hybrid. This one here does have a starting Canadian MSRP of $50,000. $450 plus your freight PDI and taxes. But you can see here, there's a lot of differences, both uh, aesthetically, feature wise. Uh, you can see it's got a little bit of a different look on the front end. It's got a larger, darker alloy wheel. Um, this one here definitely is your sportier version. If you're looking for cosmetics on a Toyota Sienna, you might wanna go for something like the XSE, like what you see here, or maybe even a limited, if you're comfortable spending north of the $60,000 price tag. This is a good example of another XSE model that we have here at Maple Toyota next to the LE all wheel drive that we're actually reviewing. You can see here side by side, some minor differences, mostly to the front fascia, giving it that more sportier feel and appeal. Um, but overall, the key basics of the vehicle and of the functionality are still there on the LE Sienna, but it's good to know that you have the options to go on a sport version uh, or a sportier version, I should say, of a minivan. Now you're gonna to wanna to keep in mind when you're going with the more entry level Toyota Sienna like these LEs, you will not be getting the connected services. So that means you will not have the ability to get the free trial on the remote connect, safety connect and service connect, which is a little bit of a disadvantage, but hey, that's what you get when you're going with the uh, lower price tag and getting the savings of getting just what you need uh, in a minivan hybrid, um, you know, all wheel drive, front wheel drive, eight passenger and nothing more. If you want the remote connect and safety connect and service connect, you're gonna have to go at least with the XLE front wheel drive, eight passenger Toyota Sienna. So getting to the features of this vehicle, you'll tell from the front end, it is a little bit more on the basic end. You don't have any fog lights. It's got a little bit more of a simple, simple grill, uh, simple matte black front fascia there around the glowing blue Toyota emblem. Uh, you know, you wouldn't really tell it's a basic minivan by standing back. It still comes with alloy wheels. Of course, you've got a beautiful 17 inch gunmetal y kind of finish alloy wheel going over to the rear end of the vehicle or of the minivan i should say what do you guys think about the rear end look it's got very large tail lights this one's got blacked out badging underneath the glowing blue hybrid toyota emblem i think it looks really really nice like that especially against the silver uh body color i think it contrasts very well let me know what you think of the rear end of this Sienna minivan in the comments below. Okay guys, taking a look at the interior, I would say um, to summarize the interior space and feel, the best word I would use would be comfortable. 
It's a very comfortable and comfortably designed minivan. There's plenty of space, plenty of easy to access storage. Everything you need is in arm's reach or closer. And it's just built with a lot of quality in mind. You've got this very luxurious feeling leather wrapped steering wheel, which is heated. This is the entry level Toyota Sienna. This is the LE in a all wheel drive. You can get them in a all wheel drive and a front wheel drive, leather wrapped heated steering wheel. Now moving over to the right, you've got your lovely multimedia set up here. Now, unfortunately for 2024, the Toyota Sienna did not get the latest multimedia update featuring wireless Apple CarPlay wireless Android Auto cloud-based navigation capability and more, but it's still quite updated. You got a lot of functionality here. Uh, you can go through your phone connectivity. You've got your audio here. You've got your uh, hybrid battery power indicator, lets you know when you're going into charge, when you're using your hybrid system, when you're using your combustion system, the 2.5 liter four cylinder engine. So still a lot of useful information and technology on this 2024 Toyota Sienna. If you go into your multi-information display system, you'll see here you have a indicator for what's going on with your hybrid system. You've got the um, speedometer over to the right. And then in the center, you have the smaller sized multi-information display system, which houses a lot of your um, customizations, features, and settings on the vehicle. You can also toggle through some you know trip timer information your hybrid system information let you know what's going on and when now the toyota sienna for 2024 is equipped with toyota safety sense 2.0 i know a lot of you were hoping for a toyota safety sense 2.5 or 3 hopefully that comes in the 2025 lineup over to the left of the steering wheel, you got a lot of controls here. Uh, let me just focus in. You've got your odometer brightness here. You've got your trip uh, reset. You've got your heated steering wheel function, your automatic high beams here, your traction control, which you can shut on and off. Uh, you've got your fuel door open and close here. You've got your power door. So the LE model does give you the power sliding doors that's standard on all of the toyota siennas now and when you press this button and you don't see the orange uh, line coming out anymore that basically means that you have uh, shut off the power to your sliding doors when it's out and the orange line is visible that means you do have power to your sliding doors check it out And this is gonna be the USB you're gonna to wanna to use to connect your phone to the Apple CarPlay system. Um, this is gonna be connected to your multimedia system here. You've got lovely large cup holders. You even have a little stand here for your mobile device, whether it's an iPhone or an Android. Um, you've got two more cup holders here. You've got some massive storage compartment right here in between the center armrest. You've got more USBs there. Look how deep this thing is. It's probably about a foot deep, give or take. Um, plenty of storage here. And also uh, this is probably the most useful to have on your minivan. This is kind of like a resting ground, a clean resting ground, because it's a finished floor here uh, for bags, purses, you know, whatnot, whatever you want, you can rest it here and it's quite built with quite a nice grip so for the most part nothing will really slide around and move around you've also got another power outlet just down below here like i mentioned everything in arm's reach very comfortable minivan all right so this is the eight passenger configuration as i mentioned this interior is just fantastically built toyota thought definitely about the family consumer when they were building this 
Toyota Sienna redesign when it came out as a hybrid only. So this is the eight passenger configuration. You can also get the Sienna in a seven passenger, as I already mentioned. Uh, so lots of different options. This thing is just huge. Uh, you definitely will not run out of space. Uh, it's quite long, quite wide, similar to that of a Grand Highlander, uh, but not quite. I would say the Sienna is still where it's at if you have small kids, uh, if you're a larger family. It's just a lot easier with the power sliding doors and the functionality of these uh, sliding seats that are available in the Toyota Sienna. Plenty of trunk space. It's just a great all-around minivan. In terms of driving positions, this vehicle does feature its own EV mode. You've got a couple different driving modes that you can select. For example, you can stay in your eco mode, you can go over to your normal mode, or you can go over to sport mode. It also does feature the electronic parking brake. And you'll be happy to know that even going with the entry level LE model, whether it's a front wheel drive or an all wheel drive, you've got a three zone independent climate control. So you got your driver's side here, your passenger side here. When you toggle this down, it activates what you wanna do or what you can control with your rear climate control. Now, yes, it's a hybrid. It does have the glowing blue push button start here on the entry level LE. However, here is the actual key fob. So you've got all your controls here. You've got the glowing blue Toyota emblem, your panic button, both sliding doors, unlock and lock. Uh, it does not have the function or feature for the power rear tailgate here on the LE. Take a look at this. So judging by this lip spoiler here on the side of the vehicle, it looks like it's set up and built with the kick sensor here for the sliding doors, but it's actually not an option on the LE models. You'll have to manually push the button to open up those doors. And once you do, you're greeted with tons of space on this eight passenger configuration. You got the long slide feature here to slide those seats forward and back. You've got more cup holders here as if the front wasn't enough for your middle passengers here. Uh, two USB charging ports and you've got here a little purse or bag hook, which always comes in handy. Now, a lot of customers and viewers always ask, is the middle seat removable? Yes, it is. Uh, it's got some straps here on the top and at the bottom here that allow you to actually disconnect this seat. If you can see here, it's being held in place by this side anchor. It's held in place from the uh, driver's side rear passenger seat, and it can fully come out and get stored away in the back. And as for the seating, it is a eight-way power driver's seat. However, the passenger seat is manually operated. Check out your rear trunk. It does give you a 60-40 split. You just pull up on these levers and you can actually pull the back of the seats towards you and push down and these seats will actually fold away into the bottom section here into that cavity that Toyota gives you so you can have a nice smooth and flat surface. This thing can haul a lot of cargo if you need it to. Underneath the hood, you have a very reliable 2.5 liter four cylinder engine putting out 245 horsepower. And you'll be happy to know that you can still tow up to 3,494 pounds on this Sienna minivan. Features a 68 liter gas tank, giving you an average combined of about 6.6 .6 liters per 100 kilometers, which translates to about 43 miles per gallon. All right, so like we covered, the Sienna is fantastic. It's a great choice whether you have a large family or not. You can get an all-wheel drive, front-wheel drive, seven-passenger, eight-passenger with DVD system, without DVD system. It's very reliable, dependable, quality is amazing. 
Uh, resale is just fantastic. It's through the roof. Um, it's unheard of. So we all know that. But if you want to actually acquire and get your hands on a Toyota Sienna vehicle, it may be difficult. Yes. And it may take some time north of 12 months to get a Toyota Sienna hybrid vehicle. Uh, but that's not all bad news because I'm anticipating and hoping that for 2025 and so on, that there might be some cool updates coming for the 2025 Sienna. That's right. We're all hoping for an updated Toyota Safety Sense, maybe 2.5, maybe 3.0, maybe some new multimedia, maybe uh, another, you know, some other cool features and components may get updated for 2025 and so on. So if you're waiting for one, just buckle in, hang in there. It's definitely worth the wait. We'll catch you in the next video, guys. Take care.